Oh my god, how many decades have I been doing this? Do not put your gloves on before you do your helmet strap up. <sighs> okay, let's go. Oh, look at the new Billy Four Rock stickers. I'll talk to you about that in a second. Right, so got a few things to chat about in this one the first one being uh, the pro green MX bike wash product video is up um, pretty impressive stuff and um, yeah it's um, it's quite unique in that you have to do very little in terms of getting the dirt off you pretty much spray it on and then you walk away um, so yeah, check that video out, it's, um, it's up. And the new stickers have arrived and f I finally managed to get it right in terms of getting the, the YouTube bit the right colour and then the rest of it is in black so it looks really nice and kind of stealthy and clean looking. I'm pretty impressed of it. So what I was going to do is I actually put an Instagram post up the other day stating if you want one uh, let us know. Um, but these ones I'm actually going to sell or at least try to sell. And um, I'm going to sell them for £2 each which would mean I basically get my money back on what I paid for them to get printed. So, if you would like one, um, I'm going to use my PayPal account because it's the most the safest and straightforward um, system that I know of, at least. Uh, I shall leave my email address down below should you wish to buy some. Just let me know how many you want and your address. I'm sure you could do that in the PayPal, um, in the PayPal payment bit and I shall get them shipped out to you and they're the same size as the previous the sort of rainbow looking coloured ones um, but these are just the black so they might look you might prefer a more stealthy sticker so they're there if you want them okay so that is that oh my goodness so I had a company called I believe they're called Inayu, but it's, it's spelled I-N-I-U and what they do is they they um, make portable chargers for phones or whatever, you know, rechargeable portable batteries and they phoned me up, well actually they emailed me and I'm always a little bit dubious when I get emails from companies offering me stuff because a lot of the time it's nothing to do with you know biking or, or whatever or motorbikes <clears throat> and um, like for example a few months ago uh, a guy emailed me and said uh, we love your channel we've seen what you're doing can we send you some stuff for you to review I said uh, what, what, what is it what have you got and <laughs> you'd never believe it it's bloody it's a uh, stick on, stick on uh, ladies' uh, fingernails. I was like, uh, what is that? What on earth has that got to do with motorbikes? Like you could not get anything further from from what I do on my channel. Um, I, so I said, uh, thank you, but no thanks. But anyway, this company are going to uh, send me a little portable charger which is you know it's related to what we do because bikers they don't want to carry around massive heavy things they want to carry around light things you know it's all about streamlining especially when you're doing a bit of camping or touring or something like that so they've sent me that I have it with me at the moment it's in my bag as we speak it's a very cool looking product it looks very well made and um, I should have the video for that up in a couple of days. Basically what I'm doing is I'm testing how many full charges I can get on my phone out of this unit 
before I put the video up so you'll have some actual data some actual statistics to go along with the video instead of me saying here is a charger it can charge up your phone um, it looks nice instead of you know I want to give you some actual figures so let's go along in the middle here do a bit of filtering get stuck behind the pooey rubbish van <clears throat> yeah so that's gonna happen in a couple of days I think we should have that up I found out I've got a bit of a slow puncher I'm losing well I say slow I'm actually losing about five psi a day so it's actually quite a it's quite a decent sized puncher but I cannot find for the life of me where it is on the actual tire so I would imagine it's actually on the uh, on the valve that might have a 40 valve that's slowly leaking air uh, but yeah I just could not could not find it for love nor money but the weird thing is as I was because I've got the compressor of the bike I was um, it was down to about 30 psi now normally it's supposed to be 42 on the rear on this tire anyway and um, uh, there, was a, there was a guy that walked past and he said, um, he's asking, you know, is it alright, you got a flat or anything like that, blah blah blah. I said, no, I just got a slow puncher. And he said, I said, it's only about 30 psi, so I'm just pumping it up. And he said, oh, that's alright, you can ride on 10 psi if need be. And I was thinking, really? Is that, is that true? Because I have no experience of riding on like a properly, you know, deflated tyre. So if you guys know, is that an actual, is that a fact? Can you, can you ride on the tyre that is quite severely deflated? Obviously it will affect the handling and everything. But, um, yeah, I can't, yeah. It says it's safe to do so. Obviously it's safer to do it with a properly inflated tyre. But can modern tyres, are they capable of doing that? Let me know down below. I have no idea. The sun is shining on my shiny helmet. It's glistening in the sun. The old current bun. I'll be honest, this road makes me very, very nervous. There's stuff pulling out here, there's this guy pulling out there, there's a big bus behind me, there's mopeds going left, right and centre. It's a little bit nerve-wracking, but it is quick. It is quick. The old current bun. So I actually went to, I filled up the bike on uh, Friday night, I believe it was. And I don't know what it is like on your bike, but when you brim it and you, you wait just a few seconds, it will go down to the sort of bottom level of the filler cap or just underneath it. And I just kept on filling it up. I kept on brimming it to the top of the filler cap and it kept on going down. And I managed to do this about, I managed to do this about seven times. And I got about, must have been about three or four pounds worth of extra petrol in it and i've been riding to and from work for the last two days and the black bar still hasn't gone down on the gauge <laughs> on the old petrol gauge so there's obviously a lot more that it's capable of taking now i'm sure someone's going to say oh you shouldn't overfill your tank you might damage your flange ring or words to that effect I will fiddle with my flange ring as much as I like mate it's my flange ring I will brim it if need be <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. So I actually managed to get myself, get my hands on a PlayStation 5 the other day. I could not believe it. 
Oh my goodness, so, yeah, I mean, if you're interested in this sort of thing, maybe you'll not be, but I, I do love a bit of gaming. And uh, if you are after one, if you go to a website called PS5 Stock Checker, this is where I got mine, and it will ring an alarm on the website when whenever new stock is announced. It's pretty quick. So uh, the alarm went off and I jumped on it, and um, I was in a queue on, you know, Very, the online shop. Um, and I managed to get myself one. I couldn't believe it. I was well chuffed and it is amazing and um, it comes with this inbuilt game and it's like this cute little robot and you've got to guide it around and pick up all these coins blah 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 the usual sort of thing but my daughter she has gone from never having a remote con like a, a, a gaming controller in her hands in her life and within a couple of days she's mastered it I just can't believe how quick the sort of child's brain is it adapting to new, you know, new things and, and new experiences. It's incredible. She's like she's flying around it like it like it's second nature. Unbelievable. But yeah, it's 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 amazing. It's an amazing game. And at the moment, I'm playing a game called Days Gone. And you're basically this biker guy. You're this kind of drifter, Hell's Angel type and uh yeah it's basically like a zombie apocalypse but you're on a bike and you have to try and survive and scavenge for fuel it's bloody amazing many late nights and bleary-eyed mornings because of that game it's pretty immense so i'm having a lot of fun on that and I also downloaded Ride 4, the sort of motorcycle racing simulation game. Which looks bloody amazing. So I might, I might actually do a little review on that, a little kind of a... I, I am no gaming expert, I mean, YouTube is just saturated with gamers and, and all that kind of stuff, so I'm definitely at the bottom of that pecking order. But I might, I might just do a review on that game. It's a really bloody good game. If you're into motorbikes and gaming. Oh, come on, van. Bloody hell. Oh, God. Yeah, going back to um, how quickly my child has picked up and, and learned the uh, PlayStation controller and everything that it does. Like literally just a matter of days and it's that's it bung mastered it we have um we have this new software at work for this um machine that i'm using and uh, oh my god it basically i'm trying I'm, like I'm, I'm i'm learning it as i go along but i'm like a sort of it's like my brain's had enough of learning new stuff it's like oh jesus it's my brain saying, look, let me get rid of some old stuff before I put any new stuff in. And it's kind of... It's reduced me to this dribbling, knuckle-dragging Neanderthal. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. It's not even particularly complex software, it's, you know, but it's just... I mean, I'll get it eventually. I mean, I've pretty much got it wired, but oh man. The old grey matter definitely goes with age. It definitely, it's definitely more reluctant to take aboard, you know, new things and which is obviously, you know, that is stating the obvious. It's not like it's going to get better and better. Oh my God! I'm just, I'm just staring at it with my my eyes start glazing over. No. Ooh. pressing the buttons with my fat finger one at a time like I've just discovered fire <laughs> all right guys so I think that is it we shall call this one a day and I shall leave you to bask in the glory of the Kent sunshine Ooh.
Cheers guys, take it easy, see you soon. Keep your eyes peeled for the uh, video, it should be up in a couple of days. Adios! It's right up my straza. God, fucking stinks. Da -da 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 -da. Hardcore off-roading. Oh.